one of the most frustrating things that I've seen is for a woman to be married to a man who has no vision. It can create great marital problems. Are you a father? Do you have a father? Or are you expecting to be a father? What does it mean to be a father? This message will show you what fatherhood means and what it takes to be one. Sometimes you have to speak on behalf of your wife because there are certain things she hasn't got the courage to say. You, the man, have to step out and say, she's not saying it. I am saying it. Put it for this. You can order this message through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting, order what it means to be a father at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakrabaden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakrabaden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra continues his insightful message titled, Types of Fathers. Yesterday, he began to speak about our Heavenly Father. Today, he points out three things we need to know about our Heavenly Father. Stay tuned in for more. Number two, if you want to experience God as Father, our Heavenly Father, you must see him as your provider. That's only your provider. Jesus said, when you pray, say, give us our daily bread. Some of us, our eyes are on political parties. They are our provider. But Jesus said, remember there is a father, but if you are going to receive from him, I told you, it depends on how you see him. You must see God as your provider. May he provide a husband for you. You are like the party girl, son. He, did, he didn't say give us. He says give me. Luke 15, 11. A certain man had two sons. Twelve. The younger said to his father, give me. I'm choosing myself. I'm choosing the way I marry myself. God is not your provider. He's not the provider of your wisdom. The provider of your wisdom is some old advice. That your great grandfather gave to you. Never trust a woman. <laughs> you know, if you really want to experience God as Father, you must look up to Him for your provision. And when you are that kind of person, it shows in your prayer life. Because if God is your provider, you ask Him, Give us our daily bread. Number three, your protector. Deliver us from evil. You know, I've been a pastor for a while. There are Christians who are into the occult. There are Christians who are looking unto other men to protect them. There is no better shield than God. God protects his people. May the Lord protect you. One day I remember I was driving somewhere. And uh, this huge truck was coming towards us. We we're going to have a head-on collision. I cried, Jesus! Literally, it's like a hand picked the car off and put it here. Boom! And the truck just passed. I said, wow! Put your hands together for Jesus. Number four, forgiveness. Forgive us our debts. You know, when you know God as Father, you will get to know that God forgives people. Sometimes church members do bad things, and for one month they don't come to church. Then after one month, they feel that they are pure enough now to come to church. But let me tell you something. The forgiveness of God is not based on your emotions. It's based on the word of God. That is why we should come Boldly to the throne of grace. Hebrews 4 16. That we may obtain mercy and find grace in the time of need. You know, one day I had a vision. I don't know what it was, but it was a judgment time. There was this big screen that was showing the life of a certain man. 
He was moving around doing all kinds of bad things. And as I was watching the screen, I said, who is this bad person who is doing all these things when Almighty God is sitting there? Then at the end of the movie, the man turned around and I saw his face. It was me in the video. I was so scared. Then God spoke in the vision. And he said, this man that we just saw in the video, I've forgiven him. Grace has come upon him. Promote him. That day, the Holy Spirit said to me, I just gave you a revelation of the throne of grace. So Hebrews chapter 4 verse 14, he says, Seeing therefore that we have a great high priest, Jesus, that is passed into the heavens, let us hold fast our confession. We have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. He says, we have somebody who empathizes and understands us. 16 says, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. It's not based on what you have done. It's based on the forgiveness and the mercy of God. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that we must see God as our provider, protector, and the forgiver of our sins. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Married some months after your prayer. Dear Kakra, I write to give thanks to God because some months ago I expressed my need to have a beloved and get married. I got married in December last year. Praise the Lord. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 207 515. Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.